Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Zard here and today we have a huge drama going on between probably the people I least expected to be beefing. Clicks and Jinxy. But before we get into all that, let's leave please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Don't be a fucking dickhead and do it. Just don't be a dick and do it. But um yeah, also follow my other social media is linked down in the description. Um, but with that being said, let's get into the drama. So, if you guys don't know who Clicks is, Clicks is a <laughs> professional Fortnite. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Stop coughing. I'm recording. Take a cough drop while I'm recording or something. Okay, well, fucking find some. Don't cough while I'm recording, you fucking loser. Okay, so Clicks is a professional Fortnite player. Um, like, I mean, actually, he's a, he doesn't have a lot of earnings. I don't think he's ever won an FNCS or nothing, but like, he's. He's, uh, he's famous for creating the clicks box fights. He's still like popping all the time. And Jinxy is a Rainbow Six Siege streamer who I'm pretty sure he's also in like the higher tier of. But he got really famous for like just his goofy ass clips. And recently Jinxy has started dating Clix's ex girlfriend, Brecky Hill, who is, uh, for lack of a better word, an OnlyFans 304. And honestly, I think this is bad. This is bad for Jinxy. Like, it, he's in one of his vid response videos says he says that he doesn't like being in drama dating an only fans girl is not the way to go if you want to not be in drama like that's literally just asking for drama because th this girl has been around town to say the least i mean I, I i mean i can't say for certain that she's like fucking banged every dude in la but like she's an only fans girl i'm pretty confident she's banged a good chunk of the dudes in it including clicks and Flix, I think, must have got a little jelly that Jinxie was dating his ex or whatever. And I'm pretty and I think they just like clicks and her just recently like like made it not official or whatever. I thought I think I'm not even sure if they fully were official, but I think it's pretty clear that Brecky Hill and Jinxie are 100 percent official. Um but in response to like hearing about Jinxie getting with the OnlyFans 304 uh clicks posted this picture right here it's him drawing on brecky hill's chest use code clicks and jinxie to say the least got pretty pressed about this and i mean i honestly think that's reasonable okay so it's kind of a crossroads here because i think that's a reasonable reason to get mad like fucking some random dude posted a picture of him drawing on your girlfriend's chest like your new new girlfriend's chest that's the reason they get mad but at the same time what can you expect when you're dating an only fans girl bro like just don't date only fans girls guys if any of you guys ever get famous and you're watching this video don't date an only fans girl bro if you honestly i say if you ever do get famous you should i mean obviously i'm not famous so i wouldn't know but if you ever do become famous it's probably a good idea to find your girl before you get famous so you don't end up getting stuck with the 304 but here is jinxie's response video to clicks posting that Bro. That's literally all it is, bro. Clicks is clip farming. That's it. I'm all for, bro. I'm all for a good clip farm. You guys know that, bro. But like that type of clip farm, that's like next level. That's like, hey, I need clout tonight. Like that's like, I need clout within the next five minutes. That's like what your brain would go to. So it's good, bro. I'm still gonna pay them, bro, because that I'm a man of my fucking word. I said I would pay them if I lost. I lost, bro. Um, and yeah, man. Good stream. I was gonna do copper to champ, bro. That's okay. So it looks like Jinxie's pretty pressed, and what he's saying is he thinks that clicks is just clip farming. And if y'all know what that is, just doing something that like to get a lot of publicity at once, get a big clip, and maybe even get a reaction out of Jinxie, like get a reaction out of Jinxie, so clicks can get a viral clip off of it. And clearly, Jinxie thought that that was over the line. Um. I mean, honestly, if they were, like, acquainted and kind of bros, I could see how that's a little fucked up. Like, I wouldn't really appreciate my bro doing that, even if I was dating an OnlyFans 304. Um, but, yeah, after this whole thing happened, uh, Clicks and Jinxie actually, like, went on a fucking a stream in a Discord call or something and started, like, having a little screaming match, yelling at each other, all fucking pissed. And I'm going to explain one more time for the clip so I could post this on TikTok and shit. This is Jinxie's reaction to Clicks posting a picture of him drawing on Jinxie's girlfriend's boobs like a year ago. 
You got your clips, bro. All good. It's man. I thought about it. the fucking clips. I don't give a fuck if it goes viral on TikTok. Why are you making this clips? About fucking views? Dude, like these that? aren't clips. I these are mad. The but then, I thought you were laughing. Clicks. I thought you were laughing. Then... No, no, no. You're pissing me the fuck off now, bro. Because I thought you were in a fucking. I'm pissing you Let off. Let me talk. Okay. Let me talk, bro. Let me fucking talk. I thought you were gonna look at that and just laugh at it and be like, "Wow, bro." Like it. Blah, 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 blah. I was in delete after, etc. I didn't think you were to actually get mad over this shit, bro. It's a fucking stream a year and a half ago with her, bro. Nothing like that at all, bro. It's Nothing at all. Dude. If you want to bring bro, up, bro, if you want to bring up, if you want to bring up weird, bro, if you want to bring up weird, I'm at the airport and you tell me to cancel my fucking flight when we had a podcast. Like, oh, and I had to cancel clicks. because no, no, I'm, be, bro, I'm being clicks weird because, because I wasn't going to be awake. Weird. I wasn't going to be awake, bro. So I get, wasn't going to be awake. Get five hours and wake up, bro. Oh. It's not weird. Like, it, it's, oh. I'm, I'm oh. getting mad because you're, you're actually being for real right now. I thought you were trolling, but, but, but straight up, bro. Oh, you got your clip. Uh, honestly, I think this is a little stupid on clicks' part because who the fuck wouldn't be mad about that? And they're uh, apparent, clearly they are acquainted to some extent. Who wouldn't get mad about you posting that? It's a picture of you drawing your name on his girlfriend's chest. Like I fuck, I would be mad if I, my, my one of my acquaintances did that. If like one of my acquaintances used to date my girlfriend, like no shit, no shit, he's irritated. And I think it is pretty clear. Like you could see that he's like smirking. Look at him, he's smirking right now. He is getting the clip he wanted, but he also started airing out some dirty laundry. It looks like, which is also a little, a little feminine and feminine, if anything, a little petty and feminine on Clix's part. Just airing out dirty laundry. This has nothing to do with it. Talking about how, like, um, apparently, I know Jinxie does have a podcast. He was going to fly out to go on Jinxie's podcast, and then while he was at the airport, Jinxie said, uh, "Canceled the interview," which is. If that is 100% true, which it looks like it is because Jinxie's deny and not denying it, that is kind of fucked up. And honestly, I would be pissed off too. And honestly, dude, honestly, I'm a petty, I'm a petty little bitch too, bro. I can be a little petty and femme sometimes. I can be a little petty femboy sometimes too, bro. Um, and honestly, I can't say I would do something entirely different in Clix's situation if I was already irritated and being petty about something that happened like that. Um, but I, at the same time, I think these guys are just both, like, honestly, I don't think anyone's in the right here. I think, um, Clix is clearly, one, jealous that Jinxie is with his ex-girlfriend, and two, being petty that Jinxie did kind of a douchebag move and canceled the interview. And if that is true, it's, um, Clix isn't wrong, just have a, have, don't have, get a lot of sleep so that you can do the interview. Sometimes I have to sit here and come home from work and then be here at my computer editing till four in the fucking morning just to get a video out and then waking up early the next day. Like sometimes if you really want to get that, be on that content grind, you gotta fucking sacrifice some sleep. You know, your priorities gotta be straight, especially when you have someone at the airport getting ready to go out to you. And then Jinxie came out and said something Set gave another like response on his stream and we're gonna play that right now for literally five years i've never ever ever gotten into a beef with a streamer i've never gotten into a drama with a streamer yeah bro people have like uh clipped me on twitter about um like i don't know like some podcast shit one time aside from that bro you guys know i've never gotten in drama i think it's the weirdest thing ever um on a night like that, I just feel like there was, I was just forced into it. Like, I don't know, like I, I feel like I was forced into it. Um, and that's cool, bro. I'm a fucking grown ass man. What? Honestly, I bet his little girlfriend was telling him to go say something. And I go, go defend me. Let Jinxie, go defend me, Jinxie. What the fuck? Are you going to let him talk shit about us like that? Are you going to let him take things at us like that? I guarantee that's what's going on behind the scenes. He was getting fucking yelled at by his girl to respond. And he got forced into doing a response. You know, bro? Like, this guy's like, bro, the pussy driving him crazy, man. He's getting pussy whipped. He, get, he, he finally got some puss and now he's like, now he's a slave to the puss. You know, he's just a slave to the puss at this point, man. There's, that's just how it is. Because um, let's, let's be real, without without being a famous content creator, I mean, this guy could probably get laid, but like, he wouldn't he wouldn't be getting no fucking LA girls or nothing, bro. He's a, he without the fame, he would not be getting laid big time like he is right now. And now he's been letting the puss control him. You can't let the puss control you, my man. Like, I get it. It's exciting when you get your first big girlfriend. I mean, obviously, I don't know if this dude has had a girlfriend or not before, but it's clear that he's a little bit pussy whipped. I think anybody and 
especially a dude watching this video can tell that this by the way he's talking and shit that his girlfriend is 100 percent telling him to like defend her and shit on this i just feel like there was no other course of action that that could have went other than that right like i i mean like what am i gonna do like laugh it off if it happens like you know what i'm saying you ignore it that's what you do you ignore it like okay don't laugh at it don't laugh it off and but don't fucking give it negative attention at the same time because clearly like if you watch clicks like at all you could tell that this dude is an antagonizer and when you give him a fucking reaction like that he's gonna keep doing this shit so yeah don't laugh at it don't laugh at it and make him think it was okay but don't fucking give it a negative response either because then he's gonna keep doing shit like this just ignore it just ignore it give him no reaction I'm saying so there was no other course of action other than that bro to be honest like i just don't see any other way that that could have went that's just how i've always been bro uh since i was a kid if you know someone's just like basically disrespecting the fuck out of you for no reason too like i um you know what i'm saying then that's just you're obviously gonna like say something about it if you have like any you know what i'm saying if you have any like respect for yourself but um no nah, man if you really like if you really do have respect in yourself and you really truly are a confident person you can just ignore it you could swallow your pride and fucking ignore it for the best of both worlds so that there's if you really don't want to be in drama and if anything when someone ignores shit like that honestly i think they have more respect for themselves because if you truly are confident and a confident person and have a lot of respect in yourself then you will be able to have the ability to just ignore it and i don't have any like hatred towards anybody it's no one should send hate to anybody i just genuinely think what i said in the heat of the moment was true like i do think like it just comes down to literally just clip farming that's all it is and again like there's nothing there's nothing wrong with fucking there's nothing wrong with getting your clips bro every streamer gets their clips dude that's cool i think there's just certain shit you can clip farm 99 percent of shit and then one percent of shit you don't clip farm bro that's just how i look at it um i just think that that is like you know what i'm saying that's just like an unspoken unwritten rule that like there's just some stuff that you don't clip. well i think hold on let me just finish the clip before i interrupt I'll say other things like um i whenever the last time i played i mean i guess i do kind of agree with that but at the same time just ignore it bro and it looks like a lot of the people are genuinely on clicks side mainly because jinxie is dating an only fans girl which is kind of cringe like don't date only fans girls guys and people are just saying in responses dates an only fans girl for clout then almost cries when people make fun of him for it even neon wasn't this big of a pussy which i kind of agree with like someone said bro crashing out over a bop life hack don't date an internet prostitute i just agree just 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 stop bro just stop just give up but yeah uh also then she um fucking brecky hill the only fans girl texted clicks and we know this because clicks tweeted out a screenshot and said she said oh hell no don't fucking talk to me nick which is clicks real name that's my relationship understood lmfao you're good it looks like clicks is just being a fucking sigma chad and just ignoring the hoes and she said you're slandering my name no he's not no he's not he's just fucking making jokes my mom is a lawyer she will sue you for defamation of character i prefer not to have to do that so please don't talk to me. don't talk about me you're allowed to talk about people all you fucking want on the internet long as you're not directly lying about them it's not defamation so this bitch needs to get her fucking facts straight for fuck's sake but yeah i think that's just a gg honestly i think this is just Two of them coping over some stupid shit. But if I had to choose a winner for this beef, I'm choosing. I'm taking clicks aside. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm taking clicks aside. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, do all that good shit. If you made it to the end of the video, you might as well subscribe. And you might as well also consider following my Patreon. It's five dollars a month, and you get added to the Discord server with me and the rest of the boys. And hey, if you're in the Discord server, we do the Pred catches in general call. So you can literally hop in and crack jokes while I'm sharing my screen and be in the Pred catches and in like the fucking gaming videos. So fuck it. It's a pretty good deal. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see y'all in the next one.